Okay, so this is just a quick uh, explanation of how the audio uh, assignment works. And this is Moodle uh, 2.7, but um, I guess I, this works in 2.3 and up or 2.4 and up. Um, just first of all, um, I've tested this in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome, and Opera in uh, as for the browsers on a Windows. I understand that um, it should work on a Mac as well. Um, it probably won't work on a tablet or on a smartphone. Not sure about Windows smartphones, but not. I tried on Android and uh, uh, tablet and smartphone, and that, it requires Flash, uh, the latest Flash version, to run. And um, usually, that's not going to be installed on most tablets unless the student has some kind of workaround and. So it's unlikely that that'll happen, but it's a useful plugin anyway because it's integrated with Moodle and it's very easy, as you'll see, to record um, a assignment. I'll just quickly show you how you add the assignment um, and then show you what the student sees and uh, what uh, you'll see as a teacher to mark. Um, first of all, just um, you add the assignment just like any other assignment. Turn editing on and then um, go to the whatever unit you want to add it to, add an activity, and you just add an assignment just as usual. And you'll see that once this um, plugin has been added to uh, your Moodle uh, uh, course, uh, that, that um, it looks very much like our usual assignment as the allow submission dates. The only extra thing is this online recording um, option here. So we just turn that on. And you can um, have as many recordings as you want. I'm going to leave it as one. And I'm going to allow, um, you can change the submission size. The reason I left it as one because um, I'm, going to, I'm going to let students resubmit things. And if you <clears throat> allow them to do more than one, then it'll get a little bit bulky as far as uploading things. Um, submission settings, I'm going to change to. So I'm setting these um, submission settings to allow that um, they can reopen their attempts. Just in this case, you might not want that, but you'll probably want to look at these options up here in the submission number of recordings that you want to allow, and that sort of thing. One well, and, the, and the, the default file name pattern is useful too. I'm going to put that as full name, assignment, course, and date, and that'll be the automatic file name, and then it'll. Um, be easy to find if you're looking for that um, particular file. Okay, and that's it for that. Okay, so then you know once you once you change your usual assignments um, settings, you just save and return to course and save and display. And then um, what we'll see. Oh, actually, I'm going to look at the students now. So once you've done that, you just save your settings here as you, per usual. Um, and, and then um, save and display or save and return to course. Okay, and when the student um, logs in and gets to the assignment, here's the online audio assignment here. This is what they'll see. Um, notice that uh, this is a tap number one. Comments um, that they may have, you'll see that that will change as they write comments there. And again, these, these are all settings that can be done in the assignment. Um, I'm going to edit this submission. And First of all, you're going to get this uh, permission thing, this, and this will only happen once, as long as you do the following. Um, click the Allow button, because you're allowing the Flash player to access your microphone. And then if you click Remember, um, and then close it, then that should be the last time you'll ever see that little message come up. And next time you go into any online audio assignment, uh, you'll see this, the little usual recording button. And um, I might as well see if this works with recording both online and offline here. But let me just click the recording button, and you can see that um, you know you, the little green bar is telling you that they're recording me, and um, whatever you want. This is really handy, like in a languages course, like French or Spanish or something, or it could be um, in an English course or all sorts of different courses. Anyway, now I will stop that. And you'll see there's a file name here, and again, uh, this student name is just basically a one student, one LC, that's their full name. It's a bogus student name, so that's why that's there. But the student name would be there, and then it would, you'll see um, when I save, 
preparing, so it'll prepare that as an MPEG-3 file, a sound file, and then when we upload it, uh, this will happen. And you'll see that there's the file name format that I said, the student name, the uh, assignment name, uh, the, the date. Um, and you can see that the student can actually listen to this, and if they don't like it, uh, because I've only allowed one upload, they would delete this and they can redo it again. So I'm just going to play this and see what it sounds like. Click the recording button and you can see that, um, you know, the, the little green bar is telling you that they're recording. Me. Mm -hmm. And there's a volume button here. Whatever you want. This is pretty handy, like in a language. Okay, so you can see that that works. Um, the student can do that. And then when they save the changes, that, that should um, be all they need to do. And that's the usual assignment page that they would see after they've submitted it. And you can see because of the settings that I've allowed them to edit submissions and that sort of thing. And also you can either have this submit assignment or not. I think I, I left that to submit, so I'm going to submit it. And that's all she is. That's all there is to it. And then as a teacher, you can... Um, Go in and if you've set it up to notify you, you can click on the link as usual and go into the usual um, marking screen that you usually see. But um, in this case, I'm just going into the course and I'll just click on the assignment. And you can see that there's been one assignment submitted here. I'm going to click on this here. Have a look. And there's this bogus student. And um, submitted for grading, so I will. Um, grade this um, as per usual. There's the file there so I can actually play it right from here. Click the recording button and you can see that, um, you know, the... so you can see so you can listen to that there and uh, go in and grade it as per usual. Grade out of 100. I already got that set up. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty nice, select. You don't need any um, streaming or anything like that. It just, uh, as long as you have flash which most people do on Windows machines anyway, um, and Chromebooks, I guess. Uh, it works on Chromebooks as well. And this is in February 2015, so thanks. I hope that helps.